Hello and welcome to Teach Cloud. Today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth guide into the school interface. So first up we have rooms. You will very easily be able to add and assign children to all of the rooms in your service. You can also make any adjustments for each room by clicking on the three dots in the right hand corner. Next we have the children tab. From here, you'll be able to see a full list of all of the children in your service and you'll also be able to add new children in the top right hand corner. You'll be prompted to add in their general details and assign them to the right room. From here, you can also add in the parents details and invite them to download the parent app so that they can be kept up to date with all of the records that you make. When you're happy, you can just add that child. If a child moves on from your service, instead of removing them, you can archive them. To do this, go to your list of children, find the child that is no longer with you and click the three dots on the right hand side of their name. When you press archive, it will move them to the archive list. This will keep all of their records on file for inspections, but it will mean that they won't appear when you're adding new records. Next, we have the teachers tab. This is where you will invite your teachers to download the app. Simply go to teachers, list of teachers, and then press invite. You will then be asked to pop in their email address and the room that they work in. You can also configure the app to suit your specific needs. You can remove any features that are not applicable to you. You can add in your own learning story questions if you prefer, and you can also upload food menus so that when you're doing records for meal times, all of the items will appear. Accounts will bring up your school profile and the curricula that you're following, both of which can be changed at any time. Compliance is where you will go to add in your cleaning sheets, risk assessments and policies. To create a new cleaning sheet, go to checklist and add a new checklist. For the cleaning sheets, you can add in the name of the room, the area or item, the frequency and the products to be used and you can add as many of these per room as you need to. You can then select where in the school that that cleaning sheet is applicable. Same for the daily risk assessments. You can add in the name of the room, the question and the action required. You can add as many per room as you need to and then you can select where in the school that that daily risk assessment is applicable to. When a teacher carries out a cleaning sheet or a risk assessment, they will get saved in the interface for you. Simply go to checklist, find the cleaning sheet you're looking for and you can view the daily assessments. This will give you a breakdown of the date, the name of the teacher that did the check and a copy of their signature as well. Any big risk assessments that have been noted and reported by staff members will appear in the risk assessment tab. You can also upload your policies straight to TeachCloud. Simply add a new policy, add in the name and then upload the PDF. You're also able to share this policy straight with the parents who will be prompted to read through and sign for it on their app. You can review your policies at any time and see exactly who it's been shared to and if the parents have acknowledged it, you will get a copy of their signature if they have. You can also edit your policy straight from TeachCloud instead of updating and then re-uploading. Next we have attendance. Here you can add in any government schemes and assign the children to them accordingly. Simply go to add a new scheme, add in the name, and then you can add the children. Next, you can add in schedules. This is required in order to use the attendance feature in the app. You can add in the days of the week and the times that you expect to see each child. And you can also add in any holidays and school closures, for example, over the summer and Christmas. When you use the attendance feature on the app, TeachCloud will collect that information and in the Insights tab will give you monthly reports for each child to give you a complete breakdown of the total hours have spent with you and if any of those hours have been spent on various government schemes. You'll also be able to see a full calendar for each child as well as their attendance graph. Under the Enrollment Consent tab, you're able to upload any consent forms that you have and also upload your school's mission statement. Lastly, you have the Safety tab. This relates to all safety procedures, including fire drills. You can go into detail about who has what duties, 
your general safety register, and also an inventory of your emergency lighting equipment. You can also use the safety logbook to note down any drills that you have done.